Hey guys, welcome back for our third and final episode. We're going to do something a little special. Gary is going to introduce the series. No way, man. Oh, come on, don't be a party pooper. Not happening. You sure? A hundred percent. All right, you're missing the opportunity of a lifetime. So in case you haven't watched our last two episodes, and I really recommend you do, my name is Sean and we're exploring virtual twins in healthcare. What they are, and how you might meet your virtual twin sooner than you think. Today we're going beyond the virtual twin of the human body and exploring other ways virtual twins can impact your health with the PRISMS project. Oh, well, um, I don't know, maybe it's about PRISMS? Now that I think about it, I know just the right person to ask. Hey, Manuel. Thanks for coming in to tell us about the project. Hi, Sean. Uh, my pleasure. What kind of question do you have for me today? Well, the first question is actually about PRISMS, or the PRISMS project, to be exact. Can you tell us how it started and how the virtual twins are related? Oh, um, so it all started basically with my grandmother. Um, she contracted COVID-19 uh, in the hospital during the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, I wanted to be useful, so I contacted the management of the hospital and tried to see if I can help. And very quickly, they raised the question about um, the number of contamination in the staff. It was much too high in comparison of classical flu. And I told them, maybe it's coming from the air. Let's simulate that. And we simulated uh, the whole hospital and the ventilation system and explained a lot of phenomena they experience on a daily basis. And uh, starting from this point, we wanted to uh, replicate this type of action uh, on every hospital worldwide. And that's why we built the PRISMA project. Uh, it's how we can use the combination of the virtual twin and the simulation inside one platform that can be used by the hospital itself to better understand the risk of contamination uh, with airborne disease inside the hospital, uh, find a good way to mitigate this risk, and finally, uh, raise the awareness of the healthcare workers about this risk and how we can mitigate it. Well, that was crystal clear. It's definitely a handy tool to have. Thank you for explaining, Emmanuel. Oh, but don't go yet. We've got another question. We wanted to know how the PRISMS platform works in real life. So let's imagine you are uh, the head of the intensive care unit of uh, an hospital and you need to welcome a new patient in your department. The first thing you know uh, is how uh, can I uh, ensure a better safety for my patient and my staff and where should I put this new patient? So you open your police platform, you have access to the virtual twin of your hospital, your department, and thanks to the simulation, you know exactly the level of ventilation and the risk of contamination inside your department. Then you select a room to put your patient. You simulate the way this patient will emit aerosols, how they will travel in the rooms and outside the rooms, and then intensify if there is a risk of contamination for uh, the patient or the staff. Uh, you can also identify the impact of the season, the temperature, even the wind on this propagation. And uh, as soon as you have this diagnostic, uh, you can take mitigation action. So you will have guidance to know if you should uh, close the door, what's the impact of putting a window, what's the impact of putting a mask of your patients. Uh, you will have the real impact of each action. And as soon as you find the best combination of a measure that can fit to your hospital, you can share it through the uh, Prisma platform and collaborate with your staff, with the facilities to put in place this action and have a good consensus. It really is very impressive. Thank you for popping by. Prisms has given us plenty to reflect on. <laughs> good one, Sean. Um, so thank you for having me Bye. <laughs> and goodbye. And now, my friends, comes the moment where we must part. And oh, it's been quite the journey. We've learned together, we've laughed together, and we've met some pretty incredible people. <laughs> no, I'm not crying, Gary. It's just a dust in my eye. But this is not the end. The virtual twin keeps evolving with every day that goes by. So make sure you keep an eye out on our social media so you don't miss the evolution of the project. And if you're feeling nostalgic like me and you want to rewatch our previous episodes, click on the link right here. Ha ha! I finally learned how this link thing works. Thank you all, and until next time.